crochet friends, it's me, Jonah, and as many of you may know, I wrote a book. Hello, crochet friends, and I have a section in my book about the idea of friend. And I'm just going to put flap this in for you guys. I have an idea about friend friendship bracelets. And the reason I have that is because look at my shirt. It says, bringing the world together one stitch at a time. And I think a great way to bring the world together is to make friendship bracelets. Because you make them, and then you give them to your friends, and that brings us together. And today I'll be showing you three styles. Here, we number one, we just have the simplest, easy chain bracelet, the first thing you learn how to do in crochet. And then our second one is... Still for beginner crocheters, but it's a little more difficult with a single crochet bracelet. And then over here, we have my favorite Jonah Hands cabled bracelet using my favorite sunset colors. And also another great thing about friendship bracelets is that you can make them so much more fun by adding all these little charms. Now, let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the first style of the chain. And it's great to use a chunky yarn for beginners because it's easier to see your stitches. Okay, so this is the first one in our book, the easy chain. So to begin and get the yarn on your hook, you have to have your yarn in your left hand and have your index finger pointing out like this in your left hand and wrap it around your index finger once wrap it around your index finger once so you have two strands here and then you have to just hold it and you have to pinch between your thumb and your middle finger and you take this first loop still tucked away between your pinky and your ring finger and pull it uh, off and over the seconds, just like this, so it creates a little tie like this. You slide it back on your index finger and wrap it around again, going from the front around to the back. Pinch it with your thumb and your middle finger and pull it over. Okay, now you take your hook and you insert it in, into the loop on your finger and you just slide it right off. And then just pull that tight. Okay, now we're going to begin the chain stitch. But to show you guys again, I'll do it one more time. You have it in your left hand. And you have to wrap it around once. Grab this strand. Pull it over your finger. Pull it back. Grab this Grab a working strand attached to the yarn and wrap it around again. And then grab the second one and up and over the first. And then you take your hook and insert it in the loop right on your finger here. Just put it right in that loop and then just pull these two strands apart like this and then it just tightens it. There, so what we just did was the slip knot, which is how you attach the yarn onto the hook to begin. And now I'm going to teach you how to do the simple chain stitch. So, what you have, well, so I wanted to tell you, I'm using a 6 millimeter hook with a chunky 6 yarn, which makes for a very fast working up project. So, what you have to do is hold the yarn in your left hand, hook in your right, and then you come around from the front up here to the back and wrap. Okay, I'll show you that again. You have it in your left hand. Come around to the front and then back and then wrap. And then you have to take this first strand here, catch it in the groove of the hook by sliding it over. And you have one. You have one loop right here. Second loop right there. Okay, so then what you have to do next 
is once you have that wrap and catch it in the groove, you have to pull it through the second loop. And you do that by pulling your hook back and then rotating it down as you come up, like rotating it through. I'll show you that again. So you have to wrap it from the front around the back. So you have two loops. And then pull this first one through the second. See, now you can see you have one chain stitch here. And then another chain stitch right here. So you'll have to do this again where you wrap. And then you once you have the two loops on your hook, you pull the first one through the second. And that's how you get all these little V stitches. You have one right there. Right there, and that's three, and those are all stitches. But here's a really close up, so you have to wrap around like this, so you have two, and then you pull this first one through the second, just like this. And then as you speed up, it becomes more repetitive, and then you can just go faster with it. But now I'm just going to show you how to do it again. So you have to, I'll show you from a different angle. You have to wrap like this. And then take the second one, or the first actually, and pull it through. Okay, wrap again like this. And then pull the first one out and through the second. Wrap. Pull the first one out and through the second. Wrap over again. Take the first one out and through the second. Wrap. First one out and through the second. And once you keep repeating that, you get this really long chain stitch. And as you can see, it has all of the arrows, like one right here. One right here. And each arrow is a chain stitch. Okay, so now that we've done that a couple times, we're just going to have to keep doing our wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through. And now you can just measure it on your wrist, see where you're at. See, I flip it over here, and I've met my wrist. Show you guys again. See our chains are meeting on both sides. Okay, so now we're going to finish it off. So we have our length of chain here. You will take our scissors, go a little ways out, like do like four inches out, and then just snip your work. Take your hook, insert it back into that loop, and now we're going to do another chain, but we're going to keep pulling up. Here's how you do it. We'll just do our chain, like you'll just do our chain like we were, and you'll do your chain, but then you'll keep pulling up like that. And I'll just quickly undo that and show you guys one more time. You'll do your chain, but you just keep going up as you complete it. And then once you've completed that, you can just pull both ends tight. And why don't we just, just for fun, add maybe a yellow charm on both sides. I'll use, no, actually, yeah. Let's go with a blue. A blue would be nice with these sunset colors, but we'll have to take two. Then I'll start on the other side. Then you just kind of twist it like this. And take your charm or your bead, and then just put the end of the yarn right through it. Okay, just like that. And then you have one bead. And then just to make sure that bead stays secure, just, just grab like any spot in this chain out going in these back bumps here. Just pull on it a bit. And then just take your hook and enter it back into this chain stitch. Very simple, just where we began. Right like this. And then you just grab your yarn and pull it through.
and that's how you keep that bead on there secure now the, we're just going to do the other one the same way pushing it through grabbing a hook sliding it down and stood it in this loop pulling it through just like we did on the other side and then you can just pull it off and then that secures it so we have our chain and then our two beads and i will just put it on mom just to show you guys so there's there you have your chain then if you can flip a wrist up i'll show you guys just how to do a basic simple tie it's like this and then you could snip it and then you have your two beads here or for the future you could just add a little charm there you can just experiment and do all you want and i'll just cut it so you guys can see what it would look like there and now you have your two beads and that and then right there is our first chain stitch bracelet and since my mom's a really wonderful mom you get that one mom and so now we're going to move on to our next one which is our single crochet bracelet okay guys i'm back and as you know we just finished our chain bracelet here and the person right here and then the person right here are wearing them but I also wanted to show you what a difference the weight of the yarn makes. For example, here I have a chunky six weight, and you can tell what weight the yarn is right on the back here. It has the gauge how to wash it. Then right there, a six is like this super bulky yarn. And then now I'm going to show you what a three yarn would look like. Now you have a three yarn right here, and I have a bracelet here using three yarn and then another bracelet using a six yarn, both in the chain styles in our book. But also I wanted to show you how, but the difference between the two is that this one just uses a chunkier, thicker yarn so the stitches are bigger, while this one uses a thinner yarn so the stitches are a lot smaller. And look how easy it is to add a fun charm to these thin bracelets. Just twist it a bit and then just push it right on through and then it slides right over into the middle and look at what a great bracelet that would make. Okay, but now I'm just gonna slide this charm back off. But now I will be showing you how to make this single crochet bracelet which is just one step up from our chain bracelet where we just do our chain and then a row of single crochet and it is shown here and now let's begin okay but before I begin I also wanted to tell you I've been using some I've been using some of my favorite hooks today and this one is a, a bloodwood swell hook and I just love it so much and it is it's a size J or a six millimeter, and I love the swirls in there. And now I'm going to be using my favorite sunset hooks for this next demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my chunky yarn, slide off your label like so, and then you'll have to find your yarn in, just pull it out. Then you have to do exactly what we did before. You have to do what we did before to make our slip knot to get the yarn on the hook. You have to hold it in your left hand and wrap it around. This is exactly what we did before. You'll have to wrap it around once, twice, pull the first over the second, slide it back, wrap it around, pull it over, and then you have your slip knot and your yarn on your hook. And now we're going to do our chain just like we were doing earlier. So you have to wrap like I showed you just previously and then pull through that second one. Wrap and pull through that second one. Wrap, pull through the second one. You just gotta keep repeating that and going through the wrap, pull through the second one. And the amount that you would do is whatever amount fits around the wrist of the friend that you're making it for. Like I'll just do five more. One, two, 
three, four, five. And by the way, just I'm just going to show you quickly how to count the chain. It's just the wrap and then pull through and then that's one. And each of these little V's here, this V right here is one, two, three, and so on. And I'm just going to pop this around my wrist to see if it'll fit me. Okay, this will fit me good. So now we're going to have to add one more chain after it fits you. And now it's time to introduce the single crochet. So you have to enter your hook into the second stitch right here because you have the one right here and then the one right here. You'll have to go into the second one. Just insert your hook right into it. And then take this yarn in the back and then wrap it around and pull it through. So you have two. I'll show you that again. Insert, and you have to pull up our yarn. So you have one loop on your hook, two loops on your hook. Then you just pull it up, just like so. Just go in, pull up, then you'll have to wrap over again and pull through both of these. Like boom, boom. Okay, now we have our first single crochet. So we're going to insert in our next V right here. Pull up a loop from my yarn and then wrap around just like this to get another single crochet. So you'll enter into the next loop, pull up a loop, wrap over, pull through two. And here's three single crochet worked in a row. It creates a really cool, like these little V's. You insert into your next stitch, pull up a loop. Pull through two. It's that simple. Pull up a loop, pull through two, and now I'm just going to work myself just like I was just showing you. You just gotta repeat that single crochet that I just showed you until you get down to the length of your chain. Okay, so here we go. And actually, just, just to show you what it looks like when you get farther down the chain, it looks like this. And now you can really see that stitch definition. But you will continue going into that second one and then pulling up a loop. Next one, pull up a loop. And I have around five stitches left in my single crochet stitches. Okay, here we go. We're just nearing up the end, but you have to keep repeating what you've been doing all along. Here we go. And then here we go again. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do the last stitch. So once you've worked across in our chain a single crochet, you have one last stitch here. You'll go into the same space, just like you've been doing across the row. And then pull up your loop and then single crochet. And here now is what we have our row of single crochet. So now we're gonna work a little ways out here and then just snip it. And then you come over and pull it up and through like so. And then what I like to do is just Tie it off like this just so it secures it, and then you have your bracelet. But let's add a charm onto it now. So now I'm thinking I'm going to add one of these little tassels on. I'll go with this deeper blue color. Okay, so I'll just firm this up. And then with thicker yarns, it's a little harder to pull through thinner tassels like these. But still, once you're completed with it, it gives it a really nice added look. Okay, just like this, and then you just push it up against it, and then you grip it through like so. Then you add that little charm on there, and then just secure it again. Okay, now you can just flip that charm around to the front, wrap it around your hand. Just like so. 
and then you'll take your longer strand and then just pull it through one of these sh one of the like I'll just take my hook and insert it in this side one and pull up my yarn so it creates kind of like a drawstring stitch and you just have to pull it like this so it's a drawstring and then just tie it off and then you have a little fun charm there too and once you're done with that you can just come over here like this and be, be very careful and then just slip it and there you go your single crochet bracelet with our added little charm okay guys now for recap we have done our easy chain stitch bracelet and our chunky in our chunky yarn and then in our thin three weight yarn and then we have done our single crochet bracelet and our thin yarn and then our chunkier yarn and now we'll be moving on to a little more advanced just kind of like a Jonas hands bracelet and i love making these bracelets because you can make them for your sports team whatever colors represent you but i decided to make this one in green and yellow because our sports teams are the packers which they're green and gold and we have the brewers and the bucks which are other colors but don't worry i've also made vikings viking ones because i have friends who are vikings fans because we're we're really close to minnesota but let's move on now Okay, you know, I'm actually going to set my book up just so you guys can see the cover again. But now, I'm going to pull out my yarn and begin. Now, I'll begin with pink, actually. And I'm using pink because I'm going to make this for my little sister, Mercy, who was also adopted from Ethiopia. And this is another one of my favorite hooks. It is um, a... It is a Stream furl streamline streamline hook. It's a size six, just like my bloodwood swirl from furls is. But now to begin. The beginning of this bracelet is just like the ones I have shown you previously. With the wrap, pull through. A wrap, pull through. Wrap, pull through. Wrap, pull through. And you'll need you need to keep repeating this until it reaches the length of your the until it reaches around your wrist but you don't have to add one more chain like we did for the single crochet we did that we did that because the single crochet needs to have a turning chain to work up now let's check this on my wrist because my sister's wrist is a little smaller but it'll be fine okay hey, now we have a chain it'll come a little ways over here and then you just snip outward. Okay, and then we'll do our chain like so and pull it up. And now we'll flip it backwards so the arrows are going from right to left and insert it into the top chain here, right inside on top here. Since you have all these, you can go in one, two, or three, but the it's best to go into the top one for this pattern. Okay, so now we're going to incorporate two colors, and that will make that's what make this makes this pattern a little more difficult. So you have your other yarn color, and then just act like you're just going to do a single crochet by just pulling it up. And now you have green on your hook, but you have a pink base. So what you're now going to do is go into your next stitch here. And then just insert in. Pull this up right in this chain. It's difficult to get that correct spot, but then you have all these arrows pointing down like this. And then you'll come and pull the second one right over and through the first. Next, and that's what kind of lines it. Then you go to the next stitch. Pull up a loop. And then pull through. Next stitch, pull up a loop, and then pull through. 
See how you're getting it lined with green and pink? Insert. Pull up. Pull through. You gotta make sure you catch the sh same chain space every time or else it won't look good. But you gotta keep repeating this until you reach the end. And then there's another way to make this even cooler. Okay, so you just keep going like this. See how it's turning out really, really coolly? I just love these bracelets because really you could just keep doing what I'm doing and make them as wide and as colorful as you want. You can make like rainbows with it. Any color way that you, or color pattern that you enjoy and represents you. Okay, so here we go. Oops. Coming around here. And then into our last stitch, you just go in, pull up, and pull out. Just like we have been doing this entire time. And then we lay it down, and look what we have. So what we have is how it, you have a little pink here, some green here. Well, just look at that. Isn't that so cool? And then you can turn it, and you get a completely different look from the other side, where you get mo mostly pink and then a little green section there. And then this is optional, but you don't need to do it. And this is another way you can make this even cool. So you can turn it and come back around the opposite side of the foundation and insert in these stitches. Well, insert in the back ones here and pull up and go through the back one here. Pull up, pull through, back one here, pull up. Pull through. Now you gotta keep repeating this, but this is why I told you that it's so vital to go through the stitches that I suggested you guys do, because that is how you get this like lined look, kind of like a sandwich of a green, pink, and then green, and it just looks so adorable like this. Wow. And the arrows on the side they line up and they tend to be a bit smaller than the one in the middle. So the one in the middle kind of like spirals out. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about once I work down the other side. And the, the one on my wrist right there, I did not do the second part, and that was using a bigger hook. But now I'm using a thinner one, and it gives you more like spiraled results. Okay, in this loop right here, then in the next one, and then you just come into this last loop right here, and then just pull this pink here since it gets in the way. Do a slip stitch, and now it's time to show you guys how cool it looks. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? It reminds me of our band bracelets. And, well, oh, look at the back too. You know, Wow. I'm just going to like pretend to pop this on my wrist. And there, there you guys go. Like, how cool is that? And then here's the other side also on my wrist. I mean, it's reversible. It's so cool. Wow. I really suggest you guys make this bracelet and all the other ones from my book, Hello. I can just if you're stopping fiddly, that would not I would not mind that. From my book Hello Crochet Friends. And you all need to remember to bring the world closer together. And like I said before, a great way to do that is to make these friendship bracelets. So we have our single crochet. We have our single crochet one shown right here. And then we have our chain one with some beads shown right here and right over here in the white and then we have my favorite one this one and how i love how the inner color just spirals out and it's all in my book hello crochet friends um written by jonah larson and also just remember i have a shirt bringing the world together 
one stitch at a time, which is why I came up with the friendship bracelets. And the place you can get this book is at my website, jonahands.com. And you can also find um, a line of t-shirts I designed. Uh, I have mugs, bags, jackets, patches of things that I say and do. But you guys should really check out the website, jonahands.com. And I really enjoyed making these friendship bracelets with you. And I hope you can go out and make the world a more connected place. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And goodbye and crochet away, friends.